my beautiful tribe. Welcome to this week's Meta Talk. Meta, unconditional love and kindness for you and for others. And in this week's lesson, we're going to dive deep into choosing miracles over grievance. We live a very difficult life, you know, filled with strain, especially this year with COVID. And we always try tend to lean towards the horrible things that happen and infuse our lives with negative energy. And we want to shift that. We want to bring happiness into our life. We want to bring positive energy into our life. So I want to start by telling you a little story. It's called The Tale of Two Wolves. An old Cherokee is teaching his grandson about life. A fight is going on inside of me, he said to the boy. It is a terrible fight and it's between two wolves. One is evil, he is anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, lies, false pride, and ego. He continued, the other one is good. He is joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. The same fight is going on inside of you and inside every other person too. The grandson thought about it for a minute and then asked his grandpa, which wolf will win? The old Cherokee simply replied, the one you feed. The one you feed. You always have a choice. You have a choice to open your heart to that kindness, to compassion. And how do we do that? How do we open our heart to all that kindness and all that compassion? Well, we can start a gratitude practice. And it could be as simple as closing over your eyes, taking a deep breath, and just asking yourself, what am I grateful for? What am I grateful for? And you can take it a little bit deeper and asking, why am I grateful? And allow those answers to run and focus. Really become aware of how your body feels when you start to choose miracle over grievance. When you fill your body and your heart with positive energies instead of allowing yourself to go into the grievance. You can do a gratitude journal, maybe do three or four things that you're grateful for for the day. And it could be as simple as running water, a comfortable bed, warm blankets, whatever that is. But really infusing your heart, your body, your soul and your spirit with this positive energy. I have a free guided meditation that you can listen to. The link is below. You can also go to my website at openlotusmeditation.com and join the tribe. This is a fantastic way for you to receive free videos, tools, and tips, and a free meditation every single week. I invite you to come to my website and join the tribe. It's completely free. This is your time to expand to grow, to allow yourself to have a choice. So commit, commit this week, just this week. Lean in, trust, allow yourself to choose miracle. You are worthy of those miracles. And if it's a challenging time, if it's a challenging situation, Use the acronym CFL, which my teacher and mentor David G talks about in his books, Distressifying. C, challenge. F, finite. And L, learn and grow. Every situation that you're in is not gonna be the same situation you're gonna be in even a month from now. So always look at those as challenges. They're finite, they're ending, they're not forever. And what can you learn and grow from those situations? It is up to you to look at things in a challenging manner and 
invoke gratitude in your heart. This is Karen with Open Lotus Meditation, sending you love and light. Namaste.